Cameron Murray who's put up the signal. Dangerous moment this for Barnett. Murray runs over the ball. Here comes the kick into the box. McCoy's going to try and keep it alive but the flag goes up and that's going to be offside. But a nice bit of invention from the free kick. Slightly disappointing though, John. Throw in here to be taken by McQueen. Midway inside the Weymouth half down the left-hand side. Well dealt with there by Mason Clark and he's got two Weymouth players around him and he escapes them and finds McQueen. And there's a strike from Wordsworth and it's blocked but it's going to come out towards the edge of the box. He's looking for angle to find a shot there, Skeffington, but he couldn't. Lays it out towards the right-hand side in the box. Cleared by Mensah and it's going to drop to a white shirt. Is it in midfield? Suspicions of a foul against Dallas. Slightly harsh one. I think they both jumped together but Skeffington was judged to have been fouled by Dallas and it's going to be a Barnet free kick. A couple of new additions, I'm not sure if the communication's on point, but just a little bit sluggish um, as the ball was cleared there of following it out and pushing the midfield on. So it's something we need to be aware of. I think a lot could be, McQueen's got this free kick, we'll just watch how this plans out as he was about to take it, the ball rolled and he's now have to replace it. Do you think the match scheduling plays a part in that, John? As the ball goes in, we'll just watch this free kick, headed back into the box, stabbed clear by Harfield. Dallas can't get underneath it. It's going to drop straight back to McQueen, and he's going to have a chance to pop it back into the danger area, which he does down the right-hand side. Very well kept alive. Good head tennis there between the two, and Taylor managed to get it back to the right-hand side. It comes back to Taylor, into Wordsworth at the corner of the box. He's got a lot of room, and he dinks it up towards the edge of the box. McQueen's going to try and keep it alive, and he does really well, McQueen, to keep that in plays up against Dixon. It's a good ball across the six-yard box. The vital header there to nip away from goal. And it comes back out again. There's a strike from distance. And from Ross has to make a save. And Weymouth living dangerously. Barnett still in possession. This is a good sustained period for the Londoners. It's hooked back forward again, this time by Richards Everton. It's half dealt with. And then Weymouth do manage to clear their lines. But a couple of dicey moments there, Joel Muldock. Yeah, definitely. They've... Um they're just getting the ball in wide positions, aren't they? Nothing too fancy about it and just trying to get it in. Goalkeeper Parks finds Adeloy and he lays it off to Mason Clark. Lovely touch. Mason Clark has options both right and left, but he's going to go alone. He's going to have a shot straight down at Ethan Ross's throat in the centre of the goal. But Ethan Ross not happy with defending there from, I think, Ngarlo is, is, was the man who was being told off by Ethan Ross. The Lincoln low knee is out of his area and he clears it long too long that's over everybody and straight into his opposite number Adam Parks penalty area is just going to come out and gather that up yeah I know it's difficult on a windy day but you're banging the ball up there to uh, Dallas and I think um, Richards Everton must be best pot a 6-2 um, you, you know should be really putting it on an angle at least trying to put it to the left or right side to put the full backs under pressure right. on down the centre half Mason, net. Mason Clark did really well there and he gets the ball back after a 1-2 he's into the box onto his left foot straight at the it was a really good effort Ethan Ross is near post and the reaction there from the Lincoln Loney was superb it's a corner to Barnett yeah Mason Clark he looks lively doesn't he when he's on the ball gets the ball at his feet and he's happy to run at people left right good effort um, but equal to it Ethan Ross great save Wordsworth's going to take this kick then across in swing and left footed oh just didn't quite come to a white shirt but it does come to the edge of the box and the strike comes in it's tapped in inside the six yard box it's Richards Everton with a goal suspicions of offside but the flag stays down and the visitors have broken the deadlock Weymouth nil Barnet won yeah there's been a few little warning signs hasn't there I wouldn't say they've been dominant in any way but um it's just a, a ball in a danger area that's become scrappy and they've responded better so um yeah hopefully Weymouth can look at that and you know um get some fire in the belly because you know we shouldn't we shouldn't be losing comes back to mccarthy launching over the top looking for oh brooks is in the oh, in the area and it's on his left foot and he hits it first time and he gets his finish all wrong it was richards everton who just he touched the ball back it right into the path of calvin brooks and his eyes must have lit up mccarthy to brooks brooks turns it first time around the corner the spin of the ball takes it into the path of Dixon and he does well to get it into the box and Dallas he spins he gets a shot away it's not going to drop to McCoy it's cleared and Garlow trying to keep it alive Dallas again in the box he goes down at the edge of the box a little far too easily really there Dallas he was using his strength no suspicion of a foul for me that's a foul though by McCarthy and now right footed towards the edge of the 18 yard box well won by Mentor and it comes under Vaughan who tries a very ambitious shot from distance good technique but the shot itself unfortunately from a Barnet point of view went way 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 wide of Ethan Ross's goal 
a bit of contact off the ball but Andy looks tired I must admit whether it's mentally or physically but he, he hasn't got the sort of urgency and spark he's had in the last sort of few games and there is the half time whistle as Weymouth were trying to get through to uh, equalise before half time but it wasn't to be towards the feet of Dallas Dallas Heavy touch, couldn't get away from Skeffington. And now that's a good ball in. And he's going to be one-on-one -on -one with the keeper here, Adeloy. He gets a shot away and he just rushed his finish. And he, he had more room than he thought he did there. And it goes straight across Ethan Ross, who was more than equal to it. And now that ball's gone straight out of play from the goalkeeper. They're looking to respond there with Dallas. He lays it off to McCoy. Dallas gets away from him. And now he's got some room on the left-hand side, if he can keep it in play, which he can. He's one-on-one -on -one with Vaughan. He tries to go to the byline, he's still in the box, he's still got the ball, Andy Dallas, he's still going, and he just couldn't dig a cross out, and he boots the goalkeeper's bottle in frustration behind the goal, but better from Weymouth, who have managed to get in down the left-hand side, but opportunity... ...who's lie, you know, been lively in recent weeks around the box, anything could happen. Ben Warman does very well in midfield to find Dallas, Dallas. And that was a challenge, Andy Dallas did very well, the challenge that came in there, two feet were off the ground, he did make contact with the ball and there didn't seem to be contact with the player, John, what are you thinking here? I think he could be lucky to stay on the pitch if I'm being honest. Well the referee has given himself a minute or so to yeah. think and it's a straight red card and the challenge was reckless, there was no contact with the Weymouth player, it has to be said, but it was a dangerous challenge to come in from the, the Barnet lad the game out to Harfield again in towards the feet of McCoy who's had to come back good good shape from Barnet it has to be said Skeffington there and that's this occasion coming out to challenge McCoy he's been worked out to camp on the right hand side though McCoy just breaking into the box on the left hand side as yet unseen by Vaughan heavy ball back to Dixon but it's gone to McCarthy McCarthy's going to try a strike it bounces off the back of a Barnet player and it goes out or it stays in play actually and then it bounces off the back of Kelvin Brooks and out for a goal kick it's away Sean Shield he's very eager to get back into the action Harfield in towards Shields Shields spots the runner Cameron Murray and it's gone all the way through to Brooks he gets his head to the ball what a save from the goalkeeper there oh Kelvin Brooks now he's given a foul against Brooks and he's allowed the advantage the goalkeeper has the, his ball in the hands but Calvin Brooks gets in there and all he could do with him is nod it goalwards but Adam Parks stands strong sticks a hand out and makes a tremendous side to keep the score at nil one John yeah good save by a young man wasn't it nice reaction bottom left but that just shows the reaction that Sean Shields brings to a game you know um, he's got that bit of quality hasn't he, he can show that little bit of class him and sort of Ollie Harfield And here it comes, right-footed, very deep, and Ethan Ross just has to help that over his crossbar. Held up in the wind, and it could have caused problems, but the Lincoln Loney watched it all the way. It's another one that's going to swing in towards the near post. Harfield's there to head it clear, though. It's going to go straight back out, though. And there is the second delivery, and it's a good one in towards the near post. And that, again, was looking to catch Ethan Ross out, but he was equal to it. Back, they have it with Vaughan. Launched over the top towards Harry Taylor, the man I mistakenly thought was sent off earlier pulls it back and the first time strike from Adeloy at the edge of the box goes over the bar but again wait Barnet they've just soaked up the pressure in the past few minutes and they're starting to look a little bit better aren't they John easily deal with that and does out towards Mason Clark good first touch Brooks goes to put pressure on him infield to Skeffington now well turned around the corner by the the main striker Adeloy out towards Mason Clark again Adeloy's going to make a run ahead of him Mason Clark steps in between two Weymouth players though gets to the edge of the box and he finds Taylor oh, and then Taylor looking for the run of Skeffington but it was well cut out Cafeles picks it up in midfield out to Vaughan McCoy goes to meet him Vaughan plays the ball down the line Harfield's going to try and let that go out it's not going to drop though Taylor does well to keep it in play but Harfield recovers and finds Dallas Fender away yeah that's where he wants to stand and it's a disappointment in the end Harfield tries to deliver the ball in towards the back post. He puts too much on it, and that was disappointing to say the least. Mensa. Harfield. Not too many, too much in the way of options. He finds Shields though. Shields cuts in field. A ball that he's slightly scuffed. It's dealt with by Nugent up in the air, and I think that's going to go out for a corner. There's the example of the win that went up in the air, and nobody knew where that was going to drop, John. And yeah, it was awful. Corner. No one knew where that was going, yeah. did they? And Weymouth have this corner then from the left-hand side, desperate to find an equaliser. Barnet, understandably, down to ten men, have left nobody forward. Shields goes across to the left-hand side to take this corner. 
Ethan Ross is dead on halfway at the moment. Here it comes. It's going to swing in towards the near post over everybody's head. It's bouncing around the six yard box, stabbed clear. Harfield with a really poor header and it's left Barnett here one on one as Adeloy goes one on one with Ethan Ross he's even got support on the left hand side but he puts it through Ethan Ross's legs and into the back of the net Ollie Harfield kicks the ball in frustration and there's the danger of the win the poor header from Harfield as he lost the flight of the ball and 10 men Barnett double their lead Weymouth nil Barnett 2 yeah there's not a lot to say there I think Individual error, unfortunately, by Ollie. The ball swirling round in the air, tries to header it, but you know, gets his body under it, sends it in the wrong direction. But you got to give credit to the finish; it was clinical, wasn't it? I think you have to give credit to Barnett's performance. Ever since the send, uh, all throughout the afternoon, but since the sending off, they've been compact, they've restricted any space, and they've looked to hit Weymouth on the counter attack, which is exactly how they've just got their second goal. And I think he's told Brennan Camp exactly what he thinks of that ball. And another loose ball, this time from Harfield in midfield, gives the ball back to Barnett. And McCarthy can't make a challenge. Camp can't make a challenge. He's still going. He gets a strike away and it's only just wide. That's a wonderful, wonderful run from Efron Mason-Clark. We're going to take it quick. They have McCoy straight into Shield. Shield's at the byline. He decides to pull back to Harfield. He digs it out and he floats it in towards the back post. And there is Calvin Brooks and he's put it wide. And that sums up Weymouth's afternoon. And their positional play has just been phenomenal. They're just gobbling it up. So you, you've got to get down the sides of people or break them down. And the referee takes a look at his watch and decides to bring proceedings to a close. A disappointing afternoon for Weymouth, but a good one for...